Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got your evening tropical update for you. There was so much going on today, it had to be an update for today. There's a lot going on. Let me update you real quick. We still have a big storm coming right after Grace. Still coming into the Gulf. And now I'm showing that where that other piece we saw this morning, that little piece from the MDR that comes after the next energy, is going to be a potential one-two punch of back-to-back -back storms. Remember, I always put the links in the description to save you time. God bless every single one of you. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're keeping your power. There is a lot of power outages out there. If you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do a upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year around. All I ask is if you have friends or family or someone you know that's in the impacts of the way of these storms, share it on social media, send them a text, or just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for helping out. We still have lots of power outages going on. California is still almost 20,000 without power. Texas, over 11,000. They've been having storms all afternoon long. Michigan got a little better. They're back to 17,000. And now North Carolina, up to 32,000 without power. The tornado threat has been enhanced. You have a 10% area all through the night tonight. And the 10% area went up for Charlotte, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Gastonia, North Carolina, Concord, North Carolina, and Rock Hill, North Carolina. It's been crazy, that whole area. Right before there, Greenville, Spartanburg, they all been getting tornadoes. So it's, it's been wild. Tornado threat for tomorrow is still there and growing. You have a bigger 2% area you need to watch out for. All Everybody in it is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's new. Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Newark, New Jersey, and Richmond, Virginia. So far today, there's been 13 tornado reports, and it's been a lot of it over North Carolina, but most of it's been around Greenville and towards Columbia. We did have some in Georgia earlier, but it's been tracking through, and it's going to go all night long. Now it's even been enhanced where it has a better chance to have tornadoes throughout the night, nocturnals. And this is what I was waiting for, the 8 o'clock update. There's been so many updates today. You know how it's been over here. If y'all been checking out, no, it's been pretty flip-floppity, wishy-washy. So it's been a little crazy. But the 8 o'clock is up. Eight, Grace is now moving 15 miles per hour to the west, has 50 miles per hour winds. Henry is moving 5 miles per hour to the southwest and has 65 miles per hour winds. And Fred is moving 23 miles per hour really fast, north, northeast, at 25 miles per hour. So that's a good part about Fred. If you're having storms, you should be moving through quickly. Here is Fred tracking through. This is from the satellite. I will give you a better view at the end of the video. I'll run a model run with it with a high resolution rapid refresh so you can see exactly what's going on with these storms for the next 24 to 48 hours a little better. Maybe get some timing on it. But it is predicted to still be a depression all the way up to Pennsylvania. So it's going to hold on to that strength of 30 not winds or 30 miles per hour winds now the track's been really narrowed it's going to be towards west virginia within 24 hours then it's going to curve over to the northeast of pennsylvania that's why we saw so much rainfall this morning and it's going to curve out right below maine the whole time its intensity track is up to 25 to maybe 30 knot winds which is maybe 30 to 35 miles per hour which is still going to be a depression it's going to be on the weekend but it will be some wind gusts passing through you just need to be aware of it that's all and this is what they had for Fred for the update. So this is your rainfall. You have the light green in one to two inches, and you have the dark green in two to four more inches of rainfall. You still have another spot for four to six inches you can get right here for Pennsylvania as well as North Carolina. And then we got Henry. He's just spinning up, tightening up, but his tracks are starting to loosen a little bit. Not only is it predicted to be a hurricane now, but now it's going a little bit wider with the turns, and if it keeps that up, it could affect a little bit of the New England states. Most of the tracks see the wide turn to the east-northeast, but it starts getting a little loose around four days away. They still take them out, most of them, but some of them take it close. We'll update this and see if it changes. Most of the tracks show that it might get up to a cat. One has been something that's gotten crazy and it shows a cat too. Even a major hurricane is possible. And then we got Storm Grace, which will probably be only a cat too, maybe not a major. It's bringing some 50 to 60 miles per hour wind gusts on the east side of Jamaica and it's bringing 30 up to 40 on the west side. So the east side is definitely getting the worst of it. But it is passing through and going towards the Caymans and getting stronger. Matter of fact, the Cayman Islands has been upgraded to a hurricane watch because it's going to be around the edge from 70 to 80 miles per hour as it passes by. It will be close. And they still have the hurricane warning going out for a Yucatan. Now, according to NOAA, it's going to weaken down, but I'm showing it's going to ramp up and stay right at 73 to 75 miles per hour 
right on the edge of a little hurricane and continue strengthening. And then when it gets towards land, it'll be a cat too. Matter of fact, in 24 to 36 hours when it goes over to Yucatan, half of the models say it's going to be a strong tropical storm, half of the models say it's going to be a strong Cat 1 hurricane, and then after it weakens back down, we can right back up to a Cat 2 again, or a Cat 1 hurricane. The track was showing a little bit tighter turn, that has changed, now it's pretty much a zoom shot. Now, I didn't check for tropical storm force winds, because of course it's tropical storm force winds, I was checking for 50 knot winds, so you can see well, who would get 55, maybe even up to 60 miles per hour sustained winds. And you can see as it passes by Jamaica is when it starts strengthening. And for the Cayman Islands, you have up to 70% chance for 55 to almost 60 miles per hour winds. I saw 70 and it gets to 80 as it leaves. Now this is according to the Ural. This is your 10 meter wind. So you can see what's up with the wind gust. And you can see as it passes by Jamaica, it gets a little flare right there of that red. And that red and that dark red right there is up to 70 to 80, which will make it about 50 to 60 miles per hour winds. Then as it goes past the Caymans, it strengthens up a little bit and that gets it to about 70 miles per hour winds. And as it passes by, it stays right about 70 miles per hour winds. But then as you go past the Caymans and it goes on towards the Yucatan, then it jumps up to 80 miles per hour winds. And this is wind gusts as it goes by. So it definitely will be somewhat strengthening phase, but the wind gusts could be anywhere from 60 to 75 miles per hour as this passes by for the Cayman Islands. And you can see the strengthening phase in the precipital water as it goes towards Jamaica. It strengthens up a little bit right there. You get some heavy rainfall on the east side of Jamaica. Jamaica that's when you get to 50 to possible 60 miles per hour wind gusts coming off. And then when it goes over you, it weakens back down to 30 and 40 on the west side of you. Lesser rainfall. Then it goes by the Cayman Islands and it starts strengthening as it leaves the Caymans. So it don't strengthen into the Caymans, it strengthens on the way out. But still, all this brings landfall about the 21st for Mexico. And I'm still showing that we have that big storm coming. And not only that, I'm still showing what that extra piece was that was on GFS and Euro. This is your potential velocity anomaly. This lets you know where you have updraft and possible cyclones can form with that updraft. And you can see right here in the Gulf of Mexico that we are literally from, and this is all the way from August 24th, maybe the 25th. And then it carries all the way to August 28th and maybe even to the end of the month of August. With an extra piece on the side right here, GFS is going down a little bit, Euro is going up. A little extra piece right here means that it's got a piece coming off the MDR, so it'll be another one right after this one. And when you check the Euro, it's been upgraded as well, not only for the first one, but it's showing the second one starting to get some strength. And this is according to the Euro is from the 22nd all the way to the 27th. So this is going to take a while to build, but they're showing a lot of strength. So when you look through the perturbed members and try to see what's going on, it's literally nine days away, guys. So I know it's a little far away, but it's continuously showing itself to me. So I'll figure out tell you about it again. This is the 26th, and this is the perturbed members. Now, if you look at this one right here, getting into the Western Caribbean, this is after Grace, of course. As you can, it could go to the Western of the Caribbean, intensify, and go towards uh, Northeast Mexico, maybe portions of Southern Texas getting in on that. This one pops up, E26. And you can see this one right here, it goes almost the same direction, but it goes a little further to the north. It does get strong, but it goes a little further to the north. So on the 27th, if you look at this one also, so I'm showing two popping up there, but this one is the one I was talking about. You can see that it gets into the Western Caribbean. It does go over to Yucatan somewhat, weakens down. Then it gets into the Gulf and strengthens up. Then it strengthens up greatly. Straight for Texas. And then if you look at your precipital water to see what's going on around the 27th, you get this big anomaly right here. And it's got some big fan blades to it. And it is grouping up together. Gets into the Gulf. Gets nasty. And covers the whole Gulf right there. Goes all up the states, bringing heavy precipitation. And then right behind that, at the end of the month, that piece we saw coming off the MDR, it starts showing itself right here, popping up in the Caribbean, and it goes the same direction. Now, so far for the Caymans and for Jamaica, so far Euro has you for three inches, and Caymans you have you a little over three inches. The GFS has Jamaica for a little over two inches, and has the Caymans for over four inches. 
So it all depends whether it's a little northern or a little bit southern. This is the heaviest one for Playa del Carmen, though. This is over six inches. All right, so I got a high resolution rapid refresh running through for you guys so you can see what's going to happen within the next 48 hours, which would be pretty much the whole run that's left of Fred. You can get time and date stamp on the top left. You can see you are still got tornado warnings for South Carolina, and this will move into North Carolina some more than for Virginia. So y'all need to be aware because this is going to the Northeast, guys. God bless you all. May y'all have a safe night tonight. God bless all of you being in these thunderstorms. You will be okay. Don't fear the storms. Just be prepared. Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Amen. Bless you all tonight. I hope you have a great night. I will see you in the morning. Hope this information helps. I hope uh, hope these storms disappear. GFS has been pretty consistent with it, to be honest with you. Thank you again for visiting my channel for the second time today. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Sleep well.